Hey, it's Ian Grace from the Hidden Level Show with the part two of Enigmatis 2, the Mist of Ravenhood walkthrough. <coughs> I am to get you the full 1000 in this walkthrough. Um, I am showing you one playthrough of this game. You do have to play through it twice. At least one, one of them has to be an expert. And then you have to play through the uh, bonus adventure. And one of the playthroughs you want to go through uh, playing the hidden object puzzles. Uh, in the other playthrough, you want to do the um, the paramatching puzzles. And also, in at least one of the playthroughs, you want to find all the collectibles, which are the elusive objects and the butterfly that I point out in this uh, walkthrough. Uh, there are 30 of them each, and I find them all. So uh, if you just follow this walkthrough. Um, you'll get a lot of the achievements on your first playthrough and then uh, you'll have to map up by playing the uh, uh, either the casual difficulty or the expert difficulty depending on which one you started with and uh, either by continuing with the hidden object or doing the pair matching stuff yeah you can't you can't solve this puzzle yet I'm just still struggling a little bit um, So sometimes I do like I go the wrong way and I pol apologize for that and sometimes I waste a little bit of time I hope uh, you can um, sit through that a Thank little you, bit Detective. but uh, promised, I will tell you the story of your f anyways uh, yeah the game isn't very long and uh, second playthrough will of course go faster because you know exactly what to do don't forget to pick up anything the prisoner gives you. I actually forget to pick one up in chapter 6 and waste a lot of time. Oh. But um, yeah, you won't see any of that because I'll be editing all that out. But anyways, um, I will <coughs> be uh, coming in and out to describe some puzzles and uh, describe some of the like stuff you have to do that might not be self-explanatory by just looking at the video uh, but uh, otherwise I will be kind of silent throughout this video because there's not too much to say we are coming up to our first elusive object in this part of the walkthrough very shortly and I actually picked pick it up this time around uh, I apologize once again in part one that I lost my uh, video recording that of the version that I was actually picking things up and I missed those um, <coughs> I actually missed it they are circled in uh, red so and you see the like the, it changed slightly and the cursor changes to pick that's when you can actually pick things up. I do other stuff because sometimes it takes a while, but usually it takes maybe 10 seconds. Sometimes it's there immediately. Sometimes if you go to another place and come back, it happens. But it will happen, and there you go. Pick it up when it's changed, and you got the elusive object. So just be patient about it. And uh, we're coming up to a couple more elusive objects soon. And, uh, so be be just patient and pause the video and uh, pick them up and move on so there's another couple of them there and I'll join you back in a few minutes I must watch It's from the Simpsons camper. The blue...
We were at the same place that we picked up the last two elusive objects and click on that bulletin board thing, pick up the knife and there's a butterfly. Butterflies are actually just flying around on screen and easy to see. Actually forgot to pick it up but uh, don't forget to pick it up. And in this video I'm gonna go back and pick it up later but yeah you can pick it up whenever you see them. Uh, they're just flying around so and pretty easy to see uh, not like elusive objects that uh, appear and disappear Okay, so this puzzle, um, it's pretty easy, like you can skip maybe a minute or so and just see the solution. You rotate these wires until all the colors are connected properly. So green goes with green and blue goes to blue and there's no loose ends. And, uh, that's it, you just keep rotating until you get the right combination. You don't really have to see this video to understand how to do this one. Okay, so here is actually the first time where a hidden object puzzle is now you're allowed to switch over to pair matching by pressing the d-pad button. In this uh, first playthrough, I go for the hidden objects, uh, but uh, feel free to go for the um, um, pair matching. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you do both sides. I got the uh, three objects in three seconds achievement. So just, just, just finding three objects very quickly. So uh, don't click on anything and just find them. And uh, if you find like three or four very close by each other, just click on them uh, quickly and accurately and you'll get that achievement. If you finish this puzzle in one minute or less, uh, you'll get another achievement. If you finish it without making more than four mistakes you get another achievements so be mindful of those achievements when going for that and on playing on casual difficulty doesn't penalize you playing on expert does so uh, my recommendation is play the hidden object version in casual and pair matching in expert
This should put the bear into a nice deep sleep. One wouldn't find better evidence of what happened here. Now to find new batteries and see what happens next. Withered and decaying bodies stuck in bear. The remains of numerous cars are up there. She doesn't seem to be a... Numerous corpses. In the war. The precipice at the broken stairway. Maybe I can think of a different way.
Okay, here is a puzzle to open up this uh, safe. What you want to do is uh, use that, use the safe parts and use the code. So you know what code you're going for and you rotate by pushing the uh, the two rotation buttons to change the directions and uh, you rotate by pr pushing either 3, 4, 7 to go 3 spaces, 4 spaces and 7 spaces. The answer is press the uh, left side rotation button, 4, 7, right side rotation, 3, uh, change the rotation again, 4, 4 and you'll get that. Okay, in this puzzle, what you have to do is get both balls into the right slots. And so just concentrate on one ball each. And once the ball uh, gets fixated on one of that, it doesn't move anymore. So it's very easy. Just rotate left and right until you can get them in the right area. And uh, that'll just finish the puzzle. The raven has dispersed into air. This is my chance to get across the battle. It's Whitmarsh. He summons and... A perfect guess, detective. You said you would tell me more about our... The 
tragedy. Okay, so this puzzle, you put you s put the wires in. Uh, the shapes that you have to match with the uh, red color of the wire is always the same, but where the shapes are is random. So you you the solution that I show in this video is not going to work exactly. If you try to position it at that place, you'll have to mm, find find the right. Uh, shapes so like that kind of lightning shape top side of the lightning shape for the yellow i actually made the mistake there put that in the uh that place and then uh the other yellow into the that bottom side a lightning thing to complete it and i'm i'm not picking the right shape there it's actually the shape that kind of looks like a t on the on the right side yeah that that one on the top right that's the one I want and then a uh, triangle on the second row on the very left that's the two I want for uh, purple so basically the where they are will be changed so you'll have to look for them and uh, just use my uh, final answer as a reference to which wires go to which shape and uh, once they're matched they'll be like blinking as you see on the left side there the yellow and purple so there you go and uh yeah after this puzzle soon after it's gonna end uh, part two and we'll move on to chapter three in part three <coughs> so uh thank you for watching my name is Andreas from the hidden levels uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video leave a comment uh, on, uh if you like it uh, or if you have some uh comment feedback about how to improve this video uh, we all, always appreciate that uh so thanks again and I'll be back uh, with part three. I'm alive, but where am I? Ah, uh, looks like I lost a few of my heavier tools. Something tells me this.